Hello Libra, this is going to be your reading for the rest of November. I hope that you are doing well. This is going to be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? It is a love reading, all right? So Libra, make sure you check out my products on my website. We got some new oils, new products. You guys might want to check that out. I am shipping this weekend. So if you want to get your order in, do it now, right? So you can get your uh, package shipped out this weekend. Uh, yeah, if you need a personal reading from me, it is in the description box as well as astrology readings. I am a 13 sign sidereal reader, so you can check out that if you want. All right, so let's see what's going on for Libra. Mutual energy between you and your person. We have Mercury and Pallas Athena. Okay, so you and your person are very smart, Libra. I'm just letting y'all know. You got genius level intelligence out here. You already know that. We have uh, Venus at the bottom of the deck. So Libra, you are present. Um, I don't know why I just got the spectrum, like the, autis the autism spectrum. So I don't know, like, shoot. Autism spectrum, that's usually highly, usually, not all the time, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I feel like even if you have your quirks and you have your social things, you know, you're still very bright. Okay, I just wanted you to know that spirit is kind of pu pushing that message through um, that some of you guys might feel a little socially awkward or different, but um, you and your person are both like this and it, you work, it works. Like you might show up in different ways. Like you see how you, like, um, you got this rainbow color and then you got like this uh, earth tone type of thing going on here. So, I don't know, different planets, but similar energies. I don't know, that's what I'm getting. And Pallas Athena is more of an asteroid, but you know what I'm saying. But they're both very intellectual energies. The, I'm also getting that you and your person are going to be doing a lot of communicating um, the last couple of weeks in November. And I feel like this is going to be about what's really going on in the connection, logical things. I don't really see a lot of emotion and which is a good thing I feel in this situation because I feel like it could have been very emotional before and you weren't getting the productive co communication between the two of you. So right now I see you two more talking about the issues and really trying to find solutions versus arguing and being uh, combative, right? So let's see what's going on. We have the sun card, we'll take it since it just wanted to come out, which I feel like goes along with the vibes here. Because the sun always talks about someone who wants to change things or they have done some significant work on themselves. Of course, that is the card of Leo. So this person feels like they could be returning to you to talk, to change the dynamic. I feel like for some of you, you might have already started talking to this person again. They might have already returned. Um, and you may want to know how's it going to go. I feel like this person is really determined to change the dynamic between the two of you. Okay. So a lot of cards, but we'll take the top. Ace of Swords, there's that communication. I be knowing what I'm talking about. Some of y'all, it's an Aquarius. We got a Leo, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So they definitely want to be solution oriented. They do not want to keep arguing. They don't want to be without you. The Venus energy is but definitely the Empress. So they want to come correct. They want to come true. If they've had some distractions in the past or if they were married to someone else, they're coming with divorce papers in hand, ace of swords, if that applies to your situation, right? So there, there's the communication that I was getting between the two of you. There's going to be very direct and productive communication with someone. This person's on the up and up, in my opinion. Uh, they're, they've done the work, okay? They're not, they're not lying, sword unholstered. They're ready to put plans into action, all right? It's up to you what you want to do with that Libra. I am getting cross-watcher energy, so it could be the Libra if you are cross-watching. I just feel that intuitively. Let's see what's going on for the Libra, how Libra is feeling about the connection, please. Let's see Libra side of things. Let's see Libra's side of things. We have the High Priestess. Oh, you already know. You was already waiting on this. You was already waiting on this with the moon, okay? Okay, the sun and the moon, that is talking about um, 
that is talking about basically you and this person are about to be in union okay that basically means that you and this person are about to be in union so um yeah i'm getting that vibe like that's what i've been getting yeah like this is like okay how do we be together and you already know this is coming a lot of you might have manifested this okay you might have um done some spiritual work or some candle work to reconcile with this person or vice versa again if you're cross watching for libra it was you who did the uh spiritual work or you went to a, he a priestess a healer someone who does candle work and they uh were able to mend the relationship to where you guys have direct truth truth ace of swords so clear communication okay some of you this is a pisces cancer a leo maybe an aquarius or an earth sign but you already know this person's coming back some of you might read your own cards let's see something just fell straight out we have the knight of swords interesting you are ready to talk too i don't really like the knight of swords here with the eight of wands a lot maybe you're tired of waiting you're you're really hasty like you've been wanting to talk to this person is this negative because the, the knight of swords is usually my argument card it doesn't make sense next to the high priestess so i would take that as you just really want to talk to this person yeah you've been waiting okay you've been waiting to talk to this person libra so if you um yeah justice <laughs> yeah you've been waiting to talk to this person you've been waiting to get the show on the road you've been waiting on this person to finally get a divorce you've been waiting on you've been waiting to get married a lot of you guys want to get married very quickly because you're you, you know this person you know this person libra empress i just called it on the venus look you already know this person right there's been some resistance but it's not like you guys have to figure out if you want to marry each other or not this is this is what i'm saying like let's get down to the the truth let's get down <laughs> let's get down to business to defeat the huns i don't know why i got that in my head who the hell is watching Disney movies up in here? Get that out of here. I'm sorry. I can't. So you've been wait, ready, waiting for this. This is It's finally happening for you, Libra. I like this. I really enjoy this for you guys. Somebody is really showing up here. You've already manifested this, Three of Wands. You knew it was coming. Okay, you're meeting your person. I feel like you already know this person. Some of you could be meeting someone new, but this feels like someone who's finally ready to step up and get things done get married renew the vows if that's what you guys are trying to do have a child you know whatever it is put a contract buy a home together it's happening all right so we're going to go ahead and get into the extended we're going to look at the outcome for the rest of november between the two of you from your person's perspective and we're going to pull a card for you as well libra we're also going to clarify everything up here and pull some oracles for you so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment if you like this reading subscribe and share my videos make sure you check out my links below as well okay see you in the extended libra love you